Hello friends, today we will be doing Singapore Math Challenge, uh, year 2023, grade 4 paper. It has 45 questions, so we'll do it in two parts, question 1 to 20 in this video and 21 to 45 in the next video. So let's just start. Question number 1. What is the value of the digit 6 in the numeral 36, 5, 70, 4? So if you see this is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s and this is 10,000. So value of digit 6 is 6000. So the answer is 6000. Question number 2. A number when rounded to the nearest 100 is 8000. What is the greatest possible number so greatest possible number is 8049 so if you round this off you will get it you will get 8000 so my answer here is 8049 let's move on question number 3 a van can transport 8 passengers. How many passengers can 240 vans transport? So you do 240 times 8, which is 0. 8 fours are 32. 3 carry. Uh, 8 twos are 16. So 1920. So the answer is 1920. Question number 4. The figure below is made up of two squares of different sizes. So this is two squares of different sizes. Um, AG is 8 and DE is 6. What is the length of AD? Now since they are talking about squares, squares, the property of a square is all sides are equal. So this is also 8 cm, this is also 6 cm. So that means this is 8 cm till here, this is 6 cm. So total is 14 cm. So what is your answer? Answer will be? 14 centimeter. Question number 5. Look at the figure below. Which one of the following options will form a symmetric figure with the above? So when we talk about symmetry, so this is symmetrical, symmetrical, this is symmetrical. So this needs to be shaded for it to be symmetrical. Then for this to be a uh, if we draw this line here, this has to be symmetrical, then this has to be symmetrical. No, sorry, this has to go. Here. This will go here, this will go here. If you see this, then this has to be shaded. You see, see, this has to be shaded and this has to be shaded. Let me delete this. So my answer for question number 5 will be option A. Option 1. So this will be your line of symmetry. Let's move on. Question number 6. Ben was standing at point X. Uh, he turned 225 degree anti-clockwise. So this is clockwise. And if you turn like this, this is called as anti-clockwise. And then made one fourth turn in the clockwise direction. He ended up facing the bus bay. So this is your bus bay. So he was standing somewhere. Then he did this. And then he reached bus bay. Now, if we have to find out where did he start. So we do. in We go in reverse. So he, he went one fourth of a turn in the clockwise direction. Now, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six. So one hole is divided into eight parts. So you do times two. So one fourth in the clockwise. So we will go one fourth in the anti-clockwise. So one fourth means skip two positions. So he was here. And then 225 degree anti-clockwise. So we have to now go 225 degree in the clockwise direction. So 225 means, like if you see this, this is 180 degree. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 180 degree. And then plus uh, 45, so you reach the hall. So the answer is option 1. So he started with the hall, 
then 225 anti clockwise so he went like this then he reached the bay and then uh, so the answer is option a option 1 which is the hall question number 7 which of the following is an equivalent fraction of 3 over 4 so if you see this one so 3 over 4 into 8 sorry not into 8 into 6 into 6 so you get 18 over 24 so this is not my answer if you do 3 into 4 into 3 so into 3 so this becomes 9 over 12 so again this is not your answer this again is not the answer this is 3 over 4 into 2 into 2 so you get 6 over 8 so my answer is option 4. Question number 8 Zainal had 5 meter of ribbon at first he used 1.4 meter of it to wrap a present and some ribbon to decorate two cards. He had 2.6 meter of ribbon left. Which of the following is the length of the ribbon of each card? So uh, he had 5. He used 1.40. So he's left with uh, 3.60. And then he used uh, it to decorate some cards and he was left with 2.60. So basically, how much has been used to decorate two cards? One meter. Since it is two cards, you divide one meter by two, which is 0 0.5 meter. So the answer is option four, which is 0 0.5 meters. Question number nine. The table below shows the favorite colors of 108 pupils in primary four. Some numbers have been blotted out by ink stains. There are twice as many pupils who chose green than yellow. There is a total of 38 pupils who like two of the colors. Which of the following options shows the two colors? Uh, so they are saying uh, favorite of 108. So total 108 people. Uh, so what will this add up to? If we do, uh, if we add 22 plus 38, you get a 0, 1 carry. So this is 60. So if you do 108 minus 60, you will get 48. So these add up to 48, right? Now there is a, there's one more uh, condition that there are twice as many pupils who chose green than yellow. So green, uh, twice as many people who chose yellow. So if yellow was one, green would be twice and this adds up to 48. So there are three boxes, which is 48. Therefore, one box, three into what is 48? 16. So this is 16, this is 16, this is 16. So this is 32 and this is 16. So green is 32 and this is 16. Now, uh, mm -hmm. they are saying there is a total of 38 pupils who likes two of the colors. So if you see, uh, 16 plus 22 will give you 38. So the answer will be yellow and blue. Option two, which is yellow and blue. Question number 10. Which of the following figures will have one line of symmetry? In this case, a uh, trapezoid has one line of symmetry. Rectangle has two lines of symmetry. This is a regular pentagon. So it will have uh, five lines of symmetry. Uh, this one will also have two lines of symmetry. So only a trapezoid will have one line of symmetry. Question number 11. Rectangle PQRS is folded to form the figure below. Angle Y is three times the angle X. Find angle X. So if you see, uh, this entire thing is 90 degree. Now if this is X, then this also has to be X because it's folded and this is Y. So if you see, this is x plus x plus y is equal to 90 degree because each angle of a rectangle adds up to 90 degree. Now they're saying y is 3 times x. So you can say x plus x because they're saying y is equal to 3x. So I can put it as 3x equals to 90. Therefore 5x equals to 90. Therefore x equals to 90 by 5 which is 
18 degrees. So angle X is 18 degrees. Let's move to question number 12. A four digit number is made up of three different odd digits and a zero. What is the smallest possible value? Now the odd digits I have 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 and now they're saying you have to have a 0. So possible value will be 1, 0, 3, 5. So the answer is 1, 0, 3, 5. Question number 13. Study the pattern. What is the missing number? So if you see this, what into what will give you a 49? 7 into 7 will give you a 49. So the star is a 7 and there are 4 moons. So 4 into what will give you a 100? It will be a 100 divided by 4. So you get a 25. So this is 25. So 4, uh, 7 into 25 will be 175. So the answer is 175. Question number 14. Alice's present age is a two-digit number, which is also a multiple of four. Five years ago, her age was a factor of 54. What is Alice's age five years later? So if you see two-digit number, which is a multiple of four, uh, so then you can write multiples of four, which is 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Since they're saying it is uh, also a factor of 54, so we cannot go beyond that. Say 40, 44, 48, 52. Okay, now what uh, her age was a factor of 54. So what are factors for 54? 2 into 27. Uh, 3, 1, zero, 3. So 18. Then 4, 5. So then 6 into 9. Now 5 years ago her age was a factor. So current age would be. So if you see these are the factors. 3, 6, 9, 18, 27 and 54. Now, if I add 5 to it, it should be a multiple of 4. So, this is 6. This is 7. Again, if you do a 4, this is, uh, sorry, this is 5. So, this is 8. So, this is possible, but then they're saying it's a two-digit number. So, since it's a single digit, not possible. Uh, this is 11, not possible. Plus 5, 14, not possible. Plus 5, 23, not possible. Plus 5, which is 32. So this is possible. And plus 5, 59, not possible. So the only options that are fitting in is 3 and uh, 27. But uh, if you do 3 plus 5, you get an 8. But they're saying since it's a two-digit number, you cannot take that. So the only option that will fit in is 27. So her current age is 32. And 5 years ago, her age was 27. So what is this five years later? So you add five. So five years later, Alice's age will be 37 years. Question number 15. Colin, Dylan and Eden shared some sweets. Colin took one sixth of the sweets. Dylan took the remaining sweets and it shared it equally with Eden. Eden ate 12 of his sweets and had 18 left. How many sweets were there all together? So, uh, in this case, let's just assume that total uh, number of sweets were 6. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Were divided into 6 parts. So, Colin took 1, 6. So, Colin took 1. Dylan took the remaining sweets and shared it equally with Eden. Now, if you do this, remaining becomes 5. Mm. So, let's take another... Mm. let's take total of 12. Suppose the total number of sweets were divided into 12 parts, which is multiple of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Colin took 1 sixth of 12, which is 2 units. Okay, so Colin took 2. Then Dylan took remaining sweets. So remaining was 10 parts. So this is what Dylan took and shared it equally with Eden. So that means Eden got 5 and Dylan got 5 parts, correct? 5 units and Eden got 
five units. Uh, Eden ate 12 of his sweets and had 18 sweets left. So, so basically 12 plus 18 is 30 and it was divided into five parts. So each part is six. So that's how it's matching. So he ate six of them and was left with 18. So this is matching. So how many sweets were there all together? So each one is six parts and we divide it into 12. So 12 into six is 72. If the answer is how many sweets were there? 72 sweets. Were there. Question number 16. The product of seven and a number is 84. Seven into what is the product of 252 and that number? So 7 into what will give you 84? 7 into 12. Now you have to find 12 times 252. So you do 12 into 224. Uh, 2 carries 62, 6 carry. So 3024. So the answer is 3024. Question number 18. A rectangular piece of paper was cut into three smaller rectangulars with dimensions as shown. Find the length of the paper before it was cut. Give your answer in centimeters. Now, if you see what is common in all of them is 9. Because if you see this, so that means the breadth here or the width here is 9. Then if you see the smallest is 2, this is 5 and this is 12. This is only by observation. Uh, find the length of the paper before it was cut. So the length of the paper is 12 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 which is 14 plus 5 which is 19 centimeters. So the answer is 19 centimeters. Question number 19. The table below shows the cost of pizza with different sizes. Mrs. Tan ordered 6 large pizzas. And five regular pizzas. So total cost is 60. So she gave the delivery man $200 minus 192. So you get $8. So how much change did she receive? $8. So the answer is $8. Question number 20. A length of the sticky tape is made up of repeated designs are shown below. So let's just find the pattern. So the pattern is this. You have this line, then checks, and then smaller checks, and this, this, and this. Correct? So this is the pattern. Now, the sticky tape is 80 centimeter long. So how long is one pattern? If you see 8 plus, so the pattern is 12 centimeter long. So if you do 80 divided by 12, 6 are 72. So you get 8. Right. So how many? Uh, yeah, if you see this, this is five and three, which is eight. So this is the so the pattern is incomplete here. So this pattern will run for six times. So how many of these are there all together? So you will get six of these. And in the last one, also you have one. So you will get total of seven of these. So the answer here is seven. So this is part one of the video. We will continue the other questions from 21 to 45 in the next video. Thank you for watching.